Hey, Jeff Hagee, Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being back with me today. Hope things are going great. Have you ever had a great idea and you're ready to move forward with it, but then all of a sudden your own limiting beliefs, your own negative self-talk and those sort of things started holding you back. Or maybe it was a family friend or a family member started telling you that it wasn't a great idea. Well, that's what I want to talk about today. But first of all, it's Friday. So I want you to look back what we talked about on Monday. What were the things that you needed to accomplish this week? so that you could look back and say it was a successful week and by the end of the week you were closer to your bigger goals. Did you achieve them? Are you going to by the end of today? Leave me a comment, send me a DM, email me at jeff at jeffhagey.com, whatever it is. But let's talk about your accountability. Did you do those things and where are you? Are you closer to your bigger goals? So now back onto the topic. Those great ideas that you get excited about and then you start to doubt yourself and the excitement starts to go away or you're excited about and you tell a spouse or a family member and they crush your ideas. Has that happened to you? Well, how do you deal with it? I wanna continue on from where we were yesterday. Talking with Jace Bennett yesterday, I wanted to ask him this same thing and see how he deals with it and what his thoughts are on it because he's had a lot of experience with a lot of these things and with his company product that he has with Richie Norton, um, they see all sorts of stuff. So listen to this and listen to what he has to say about it. Yeah, I, you get someone who's got a great idea. They've done the research. It all makes sense. It's something they should be moving forward on. But that's also when their limiting beliefs kick in and the, you know, why do I think I can do that? You know, what, are, what's my family going to say? What, what would you tell someone in that position? Man, um, actually Stan Lee, right? Marvel. It's, he has a great interview where he said, you know what? If you have a genuine idea that you really, not just any idea, but that idea that you really feel is something, don't listen to anybody else and just do it. Everybody told us not to start a YouTube channel. Everybody. My parents still wish I didn't. No, this year now they, now they like it because it's benefited my extended family as well lately. Um, finally, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's J sports was an idea. Everyone said, no, there's already all these skateboard companies. You're not a professional skater. Don't start that. Well, we were one of the most profitable skateboard companies in 2015 and 2016 in the world started my garage and right. And product does manufacturing for major companies around the world, but we had no business starting a manufacturing company. We didn't own a factory. So most of the things I've ever done have been those things that most people kind of raise an eyebrow, cock their head at. But to me, that's an indicator that I should do it because that means it is just hard enough that the masses won't. Right. And so if it's just crazy enough that other people won't, I have this idea that I've been sitting on for two years now and it'll be enormous. And even in the two years that I've been sitting on it, nobody's done it. And I just haven't done it yet. Um, it's something that I should do. And nobody tells me no anymore because they know that I'm just going to do whatever I want because that's just my personality type. But don't allow analysis paralysis, right? Like if, if you're not sure it's a good idea and you go to every family member asking about it and they all give you the same, oh man, that's weird. Oh no, I wouldn't do that. Obviously you're not going to get too far with it. But if you, oh, I don't know, man, it's so hard because there are some stupid ideas. I know they say there's no stupid ideas, but there are some really, so our company product, we probably get 15 to 20 people a day pitching us ideas they want to make. And man, there's some weird stuff. out there. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying they couldn't find a market. It would just be a thousand times harder to actually find enough people in the world that want your weird little widget but there are those people there are those things so i say every idea is worth trying out at least initially and now in the world of kickstarter indiegogo all of those things you can start it out with almost no risk you can just pay 250 bucks to get somebody to cad design your odd little widget and put it out there on Kickstarter. And I, I have a friend of mine, he's an engineer, he's a genius. He has 10,000 good ideas and he puts every single one of them on Kickstarter because he has zero barrier to entry because he has a 3D printer, he is an engineer, but he has 9,900 and 
96 of them that have failed. He has two that crushed it. All the rest of his failures. And they're really cool ideas. But his family also knows, nah, dude, just go and do it. So he just keeps trying it, and one of them will stick. So I always say go. Even the weird ideas we get at Product, we'll pick one or two every month that we're like, you know what? This is so weird. We have to try it. We have to. Who are we to say that there's nobody that wants to buy? A... I can't even name some of these things. They're so interesting. But um, yeah, it's if that family member has your best interest at heart, which we all want to believe that our family does, but typically if they're negative, it comes from a point of pride where they don't actually have your best interest at heart. They pretend to. It's under the guise of being like, no, 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 I care about you, so you shouldn't do this. Really, it's, well, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't buy it. I can't see it working. So no. Well, you're one person out of how many billions? And who's to say there isn't a couple hundred million people that would want that weird, whatever it is thing. So I don't, I hear everyone. I just don't listen very well. All right. Thanks again, Jace. I appreciate your insight on that. I really appreciate just hearing the things you can talk about from experience and how you deal with those things. Now, for the listeners here, these are the things we've been talking a lot about when it comes to mindset and overcoming limiting beliefs and really discovering your potential. Now, one of the things I really encourage you to do, go check out mindset.jeffhagey.com and look at our High Achievers Mindset Secrets course. Also look at the academy, look at the team program, everything we've got there. But also, we've talked a lot about my mindset questions. Go get those for free at jeffhagey.com slash mindset. Read about those and get an idea how those can help you just on a daily basis to create the mindset you need to to win. Thanks again for being with me this week. Hope you have a great weekend. Next week's going to be a great week. We're going to do some amazing things. So make sure to be back with me on Monday. Thanks and I'll see you then.